Welcome to JZ Graphics. In this video, I will teach you how to create this amazing poster design in Photoshop. Let's get it started. First, create a new file with these dimensions. I am using this color as a background. Press Alt plus background to apply the foreground color. Go to the type tool and type your text. Select all and apply the white color to it. I am using the Poppins black font. Then increase its size. Hold the ALT key to create a copy of it. Double click to edit the text. Hold the SHIFT key to select the layers, right click on it, and choose CONVERT to SMART OBJECT. Add the SMART guide for more precise. and adjust the text. Press Ctrl plus J for a duplicate copy. Press Ctrl plus T, then right click on it, and choose Perspective. Hold from the corner, and drag it upward. Again press Ctrl plus T. Hold the shift key, drag it inside. And repeat the process. Go to the Filter menu, Blur Gallery, and choose Field Blur. Set this side of Blur to zero. Then select the other text layer, and apply the Field Blur here also. I also uploaded the other poster designs, link is at the top, go and check it out. Go to the file menu, place embedded, select your image, and place. Link of this image is mentioned in the description. Adjust its size. Press Ctrl plus J for a duplicate copy and change its blend mode to multiply. Then add a layer mask to it, select the brush tool, and apply like this. And decrease its opacity to 70%. Create a blank layer, select the brush tool, use these settings. Set the foreground color to black and apply like this and decrease its opacity. Select the type tool and type the text and follow me.
Press Ctrl plus J. Right click on it and choose Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl plus T, then right click on it and choose Distort. And follow me. Repeat the same process on the other side. Also apply the blur to it. Set the blur value to 3 and other side to 0. Go to the File menu, place Embedded, select the other image. Add a layer mask to it. And apply the vertical gradient. and decrease its opacity. Go to the Type tool, and type other text. Follow my text settings. Delete the smart guides. Place grunge effect background, link of this background is mentioned in the description. Adjust its size on the artboard. Change its blend mode to overlay, decrease its opacity to 17%. And it's done. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for more updates.